Vienna, Austria, home to a wealth of attractions and feel as one of the most eco-friendly cities in the world. This imperial city opens its doors to the world's most beautiful earth advocates. Join me, Jamie Harrell, as we come together with a message of hope, right from the heart of the majestic Danube. From the four corners of the world, we, the women of the earth, stand united in spreading awareness about an issue that stems from human activities. The effects of climate change are right before us. People around the world are not spared. Holding danger to the source of life, endangering nature and wildlife, increasing the number of environmental refugees, causing extreme drought and great floods, and affecting the future of our youth. We have become irresponsible and lazy. We have become greedy, taking more than what we need. We think about making profits, not thinking that we are the victims of our own selfish actions. We should not turn a blind eye on climate change. Climate change affects us in so many ways, leaving people hungry and nations devastated. It is the bitter truth and something we should all be accountable for. We need to act now. There's still time to change. Change the way we think change the way we act, we treat Mother Earth. We should combat the ill effects of climate change. Get involved in greening the world and start using alternative energy. Rethink the decisions you make every day. Reduce your carbon footprint by choosing eco-friendly ways. Touch a stacking public transport. Conserving energy and water. I'm going paperless. Reuse everyday resources to lessen garbage and waste that contribute to water and air pollution, causing health problems. Recycle used items and turn them into something creative and useful. Respect nature by adopting a moral stand. Do good for our environment and for our fellow men. Respect is the mark of success in our combat against climate change. We are the Women of the Earth. From Marx Halle in the majestic city of Vienna, this is Miss Earth 2015. Martirosan Lilith proudly representing my fantastic country, Armenia! Kimberly Weber, 
My One Happy Island, Aruba. Diana Gurgina from the land down under, home to the Great Barrier Reef, Australia. Sophie Totsawa representing Austria. of Belgium. I am Christine Sahn, representing the Earth's best kept secret, Belize. Binga de Merderby from South America's heart, Bolivia. Adna Obradovic from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Chiesa Sikechi, Brazil. Estefania Muñoz, Colombia. Andrea Rojas, Costa Rica. Daria Serena va a cry, Mia. Ana Maria Jurišić, representing beautiful Croatia. Marcela Marina representing the beautiful island of Cyprus. Maria Malisheva representing Czech Republic. Turi and Bogdanatur representing the Kingdom of Denmark. Alexander Elizabeth from the little slice of paradise that is the Dominican Republic. Representing my beautiful country, Egypt. Pamela Valdivieso, representing El Salvador. Katrina Kendall, representing England. Shyla Angela Prasad, representing Fiji. Alisa Furs, representing France. West Africa, Ghana. Anais Lacalmonti representing the Butterfly Island, Guadeloupe. Sky Celine Baker representing my island, Guam. Sara Guerrero representing the country of the Thermal Spring, Guatemala. Beautiful, beautiful country, Honduras! Dorina Agneslap representing the beautiful, the historical country, Hungary! Aitel Kosla representing India! Melinda Britasari from the exotic country, Indonesia! Joel Q representing Uh, 
Aurora Pianegonda from Italy. I'm Ariano Yamada representing Japan. Linda Gatera representing the wonderful land of Kenya. Ho Jung Han representing Korea. Representing the beautiful island Malta! Katya Mutram from the Pearl of Indian Ocean, Mauritius! Gladys Flores from the land of Mariachi and Tequila, Mexico! <laughs> land of Eternal Blue Sky, Pirates of Tegatinger! from the land of Himalayas, Nepal. Lina Sarfi representing the Netherlands. <laughs> Julia Rocchini from New Caledonia. And Elisa Christian proudly representing New Zealand. <laughs> Deborah Walsh representing from my wonderful and amazing Winyon Island! Lola Ortega representando a España y 
Of course, a good evening to all of our Earth Warriors around the world. Tonight is quite simply the most anticipated beauty and environmental event of the year. We are beaming to you from the majestic city of Vienna, a city that breathes art, history, and a sustainable way of living. <laughs> Now, tonight, I can't quite believe it, we mark the crystal year for Miss Earth. 15 years, Joey. I can't believe it. Miss Earth. Honestly, you don't look a day over 10. I don't know what your secret is, but one lucky lady tonight will be waltzing off the stage with the prestigious title to join the royal ranks of beauties for a cause. On stage tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have the world's most gorgeous ladies who are a lot of fun and they are fierce and they are fashionably responsible. <laughs> And they sure look great in their all outfits made by Nadine Fraunberger and Raphael Hulan. Now this is the night we've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, all the hard work is finally going to pay off for one outstanding candidate. History's in the works here in the Imperial City of Vienna. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy yourselves and witness right here, Miss Earth 2015. It's a meeting with Thomas Ruska, Head of Sustainability, Environmental Department of the City of Vienna, who shared the Viennese way to sustainable living. Joining us this evening is an equally lovely lady who was once an elemental queen. Here is Miss Earth Air 2013, Austria's very own Katja Wagner. Hello and good evening, everyone. And again, hello and good evening, everyone. 
And as we say here in Austria, einen wunderschönen guten Abend, Wien! Wir haben hier heute für Sie die 90 schönsten Frauen dieser Erde und sie sind alle hier nach Österreich gekommen, um um die Krone der Miss Earth zu kämpfen. Und kämpfen ist ein gutes Stichwort, denn es ist ein ziemlich, eine ziemlich taffe Gruppe, würde ich sagen. Ich hatte jetzt drei Wochen Zeit, die Mädels kennenzulernen, während sie durch Österreich getourt sind und ich muss sagen, ich konnte mich nicht entscheiden. Wer ist denn Ihre Favoritin? Gut, was ich so höre, gibt es noch keine klare Entscheidung, aber so leicht ist es auch wieder nicht, denn bei Miss Earth geht es nicht um die bloße Schönheit, sondern es geht auch um das Engagement zum Thema Umwelt und Soziales. Das ist gar nicht so leicht, aber wir haben ja einige super Persönlichkeiten heute hier am Start. Zum Beispiel eine unserer Missen ist eine begnadete Poetry Slammerin. Eine andere wiederum singt wie Adele und wiederum eine andere engagiert sich ehrenamtlich in ihrem Heimatland für die Wiederaufforstung der Wälder. Ich finde, das ist einen Wahnsinnsapplaus wert, oder? Ich kann es kaum erwarten, wer in die Top 16 kommt. Und wir werden sie in ein paar Minuten erfahren. Water in Vienna is so clean, you can actually drink it. A proof how a clean environment can lead to good health. Every year the Miss Earth candidates do another kind of preparation before they jet out to the pageant's host city. Now this preparation entails, first of all, a good camera. Next up, a better location, but most importantly of all, the best environmental message. Now, these eco videos of the candidates feature the environmental concerns facing their respective countries and the efforts that they are doing to address these problems. Now, these videos can be seen on the official YouTube account and it's already gained thousands and thousands of hits all across the world. I'm pretty sure it's going to be getting a few thousand more tonight. Now, this year, a special panel of judges from the United Nations Women's Guild reviewed all the videos and selected the top four entries, and among these, of course, our winner. Here now are the top four eco videos that made the cut. For my environmental advocacy, I joined the Jane Goodall Institute here in Belgium. Our mission is to research, conserve, and educate not only people, but also animals about our environment, so we could all play an important part of helping our Mother Earth. it is important to raise awareness among younger generations and educate them from theory to practice. As an artist, I wanted to do, share and create something meaningful. So I went into the wild. I lived as a nomad in the wild steppe of Mongolia for two months with 2,000 animals to film my documentary film Back to the Roots. For me, each new day is a new opportunity to do my part, as simple as it may be. Separating my trash daily to prevent unnecessary items being placed in our landfills to reducing my daily water usage. It all begins with me. Okay, here we go. The best eco video award goes to... The USA! the President of the United Nations Women's Guild, Diana Alana Uyugi. Congratulations to the USA, our Eco Video winner for 2015. But now on to an even more important announcement, the top 16 candidates who will move on in the competition. I bet you're all waiting for this so you can complain about me on Facebook. 
Get your Instagrams ready because earlier this week, all the candidates went through a preliminary judging session and the results were verified by SGV Ernst & Young. These are our official tabulator partners represented tonight by its partner, Mr. Ramon Dizon. Sir, we'd love to have the results right now. Thank you, sir. Looking sharp, Ramon. Ooh, okay. In random order, here are our top 16 candidates. We're starting off with a delectable treat, Joey. Ooh, that makes me feel... Hungry! hungry! Taking that number two position, I'd like to call upon... U.S.A. Will it be lucky number three for our next beauty from Ukraine? Now from down on this lady is moving on up. Give it up for Australia! Woo! For our next beauty, Joey, check it out. It's the Czech, Czech Republic! Republic. The stage is getting crowded, but there's plenty more room for... Mongolia! Now they say that this country is a lot more fun to be at. I'm sure the judges thought that our next beauty was delicious. She is, after all, from Mauritius. Taking the 10th position, show some love for Scotland. I have a funny feeling there may be some sort of reception from the crowd. It's a hometown hero, Austria! <laughs> Woo! It's getting hot in here. Reminds me of our next country, Chile! I think it's time for a little attitude up here on stage, some fierceness. Colombia! Taking the 14th spot. Who's it gonna be, ladies and gentlemen? Ooh. I know who it's gonna be. Give it up for... Venezuela! Our next young lady must have had a certain 
je ne sais quoi. Ladies and gentlemen, France! Ready? And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the top 16 candidates who are vying for the title of Miss Earth 2050. Make some noise! Art dominates the Viennese skyline, including the Spritelau Waze incinerator plant, another ingenious way of mixing art with climate change protection measures. Das ist der Punkt, wo alles wieder auf null gesetzt wird und alle Punkte von der Vor vom Precharging verfallen. Jetzt müssen die Mädels rein mit ihrer Performance auf der Bühne punkten, um in die nächste Runde weiterzukommen. Aber Lassen Sie mich kurz das Publikum befragen, ob die überhaupt mit den Top 16 einverstanden sind. Hallo, schöne Dame. Sind Sie zufrieden mit den Top 16? Ja, ich bin ganz zufrieden. Ich habe zwei Favoriten. Die sind die Columbia und Miss Venezuela. Die beiden sind sehr hübsch und sehr, sehr nett. Ich habe mit ihnen getroffen. Und sie waren bei mir einen Beauty-Tag und ich habe für sie ihre Haare gemacht. Aber heute Magyarorsak! Und für alle, die das nicht verstanden haben, an wen gilt das? Äh, ja. Also da ist die Ungarn-Fangruppe offensichtlich, aber ich glaube, es ist nicht leicht, die eine hier rauszupicken. Aber Gott sei Dank haben wir eine ausgewählte Jury, die diesen Job für uns übernehmen wird, die wir auch später noch kennenlernen werden, die hier vorne sitzt. Und ja, ich würde ehrlich gesagt allen eine Krone aufsetzen. Sie haben alle einen super Job hier geleistet. Die Opening-Nummer war grandios. Und vielleicht noch einen Satz zur Opening-Nummer. Sie können die Gewänder der Opening-Nummer auf Facebook ersteigern. Und zwar auf der Seite All One Austria. Das Teil kostet 130 Euro und das gesamte Geld, das da eingenommen wird, geht gemeinnützigen Projekten zugute. So, liebe Dame hier. Oh, auch eine Kandidatin, oder? Ja, hallo. Ja, da ich auch eine Ungarin bin, deswegen, also Miss Ungarn ist mein Favorit. Aber ich habe noch ein paar Favoriten natürlich. Ähm, Miss Chile und Miss Venezuela, aber natürlich Miss Ungarn. Wow, 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 also ziemlich viele Ungarn hier im Raum. Kaum zu glauben. Ja, also an und für sich, die Mädels haben ja drei Wochen verbracht mit Seminaren, mit Aktivitäten, mit ziemlich viel Sightseeing. Ich glaube, ja, es ist eine ziemlich starke Truppe in den Top 16 und ich bin, bin schon ziemlich gespannt, wer es in die Top 8 schafft. Ja, aber lassen, wir, lassen Sie mich vielleicht einen Herrn befragen. So, was meinen Sie denn? Wer schafft es weiter in die Top 8? Auf wen freuen Sie sich in der Swimsuit Competition besonders? Ich freue mich auf alle. Sie waren alle sehr, sehr schön. Es fällt einem sehr, sehr schwer, äh, spezifisch sich für die eine oder die andere äh, zu entscheiden. Aber äh, meine Favoritin ist Österreich. Es bleibt spannend. Wir sehen, das Publikum ist sich auch noch nicht ganz schlüssig. Aber ja, wir sind gespannt, wie es weitergeht. Es folgt jetzt der Breakdown zu Top 8. Trees are the lungs of the earth and the candidates made sure to do their share here in Vienna. 
Okie dokie. Now we're about to introduce to you a panel of distinguished men and women who in our time may have Gustav Klimt's eye for beauty and Mozart's keen sense of perfection. Now they have the best seats in the house, but yet not so easy task to choose this year's Miss Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, the members of the panel of our judges, let's get to meet them. First up, the former country director of the United Nations Industrial Development Organization and currently the co-owner of Global Water Engineering and the man behind Engineers Bruyo Gomer, try saying that fast three times, Mr. Dick Gomer. An executive of the Uber Chic FTV, the media and marketing head of Fashion TV, Miss Yasmin Hitt. International filmmaker, producer and director. He produced and co-directed the recent international hit movie K2, Mr. Norbert Blecker. A noted fashion designer who currently has her own label, Just Eve, Miss Ivra Kresk. A former actress and beauty queen who is now one of the driving forces behind Miss Earth, the executive vice president of Carousel Productions, Miss Lorraine Shook. Looking beautiful. She is the first lady to be crowned Miss Earth and presently a lawyer and together with her husband runs one of Europe's biggest international dressage stables, Miss Katarina Swenson Brink. An international hotelier with 20 year career with Hilton Hotels. He is the general manager of the Hilton Vienna Danube. Rather nice if I don't say so, so myself. A green hotel and the official residence of Miss Earth, Mr. Marcus Hussler. An independent television producer in Austria who has a keen sense for fashion and the finer things in life. The CEO and owner of Vogus TV, Miss Nadia Ondraskova. And last, but by no means least, an advocate for women's empowerment who has been involved in various socio-political mediations the President of the United Nations Women's Guild, Vienna, and Chairperson of the Board of Judges, Miss Diana Alano Oyogi. Also with us this evening are the executives of Carousel Productions. A warm welcome, please, to the President of Carousel, Mr. Ramon Monzon, and Vice President and Project Director, Ms. Pichi Benarashan. We'd also like to acknowledge the presence of the organizing committee here in Vienna and the organizers of Miss Earth Austria, on stage Austria's Stina Schmidt and Andreas Siedl. Now, adding a touch of glam in our gatherings is a young lady who bagged the Miss Earth Air title in 2013. Now, she came to the Philippines to chase her dream, and tonight she's here in her hometown to see somebody else's dream come true. Here's Austria's very own Katja Vanga. Thank you, all you and Joey, and a very good evening here from Vienna. It's been two years since I graced the Miss Earth stage, and to be honest, it feels like a little throwback looking at the girls and spending time with them. It reminds me of my time at the pageant, at how the pageant changed the way I look at our environment. The contestants are up and about to explore the city of Vienna and having a wonderful time here. Of course, it's not only about looking good, it's all about doing good. And the contestants are more than ready 
to get their hands dirty and to plant a seed or maybe two to save the planet. We'll now have a look at the Grand Ball that has been happening here in Vienna for the past three weeks. letzten drei Wochen und sichtlich ihren Aufenthalt in Wien genossen. Es war einiges zu tun. Es kamen viele aus südlicheren Ländern an, die gefroren haben, aber ich glaube, die Bewegung um die Activities hat sie warm gehalten. Aber Bewegung sind unsere Ladies ja gewöhnt, denn in ihren Heimatländern unterstützen sie zahlreiche Umweltprojekte. Und hier heute Abend haben wir ein paar Ex-Miss Earth bei uns. Und ich muss dazu sagen, auch Ex-Kolleginnen. Miss Earth England 2013, Miss Chloe Oten. A round of applause, please. <laughs> Miss Chloe, is there any advice you can give to the contestants? Hello, Katia. So lovely to see you again. You look amazing. Um, yes, I would say to the girls to be yourself, have fun, make friends, um, and make memories that will last a lifetime. This is the, one of the biggest opportunities um, out there for you. And wow, how fabulous for you to even be here. So that's, that would be my advice. Just have fun and love it. Thank you, Chloe. And another lady we have here is Miss Earth China, and we will come back to her in just a second. Dedicated bike lanes are found all over Vienna, and people are encouraged to use this alternative and healthy way of going around the city. One thing I admire about the Viennese people is that they have an eye for beauty, and why not? Stately palaces, imposing monuments and great works of art just surround you here. It's far too much to take in one day. Trust me, I tried to do it yesterday, but it was an amazing experience. But tonight, we're going to take you on a global tour of natural beauty, as embodied by our top 16 candidates. Here they are in the swimsuit competition, beginning with... Hungary.
USA. Ukraine. Australia! Czech Republic! Brazil! Mongolia! Mauritius! Austria!
Venezuela. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 16 beauties from around the world wearing swimsuits by Filipino designer Ricky Abad. Coming up next, you'll see them in their elegant best. Stay right here with Miss Earth 2015. Impressive display of confidence. Swimsuits by Ricky Abad. Now our gorgeous top 16 are gonna go backstage and get dolled up to wear their evening gowns. Now, I have had a sneak peek at those evening gowns. Whoo, they are gorgeous. Looking forward to that. But right now, let's, uh, let's hang out here with the audience. Hi, everyone. How are you all doing? We have a very happy crowd tonight. We have an international audience tonight. But right now, I see some very familiar faces. Hi, girls. Our girls from last year's Miss Earth. Miss Earth Fire and Miss Earth Air. Ladies, you both know how it feels. You were there last year. Can you tell us what exactly you think is going through their minds right now doing that? Oh my gosh, they are probably just shaking in their heels, so nervous, so excited. We obviously know how it feels. Yeah, it's very nervous, but it's a wonderful experience for them. And um, do you so far have any uh, favorites in our top 16? Um, I might be a little biased for my girl, Miss USA. <laughs> Any favorites for you? I think that all girls are the winners already. Yeah, and uh, they have a big experience in their life. Miss Earth, it's a very good uh, uh, contest for them. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect answer. <laughs> a regal queen. Thank you, ladies. Now, being here, this is my first time in Vienna, Austria. Um, any locals here in the audience? Anyone here from Vienna? Oh, oh, quite far. Can you come with me over there? Okay. I'd like to brush up on my Austrian. Can you help me? Okay, I'll go over to you, sir. Um, can, you, um, can you say to me, how can I say, I love Austria? Well, that's very easy to say. You just say, 
Ich liebe Österreich. Ich liebe Austria. Ich liebe Austria. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ha. Huh. Okay, we're just we're just uh, easing some of the tension because it's a lot of pressure for our girls backstage. We just want them to have a good time. We want everybody here to have a really good time. It's still open bar, right? Am I in Austria? It's still open bar. <laughs> Um, while we're just having a little chat here, uh, we will be having our evening gown competition and that means it's still anyone's ball game for these girls and soon we're going to be rounding down the girls to the top eight. And after the top eight, we'll be finding out who that lucky lady is going to be that's going to nab the title of Miss Earth 2015. Mark's Halle is overflowing with beauties from all over the world. Let's all welcome back past Miss Earth winners. Miss Earth 2012, Teresa Feixova from Czech Republic. Where are you? Ah, here she is. Welcome to Austria, Teresa. Next, I want to welcome our the Elemental Queens of 2014. It's Miss Earth Fire, Anastasia Trusova. I saw, saw the crowns there. And Miss Earth Air, Andrea Noy from the USA. Welcome to Vienna, ladies. And joining me this time is our very first Miss Earth. It's Miss Earth 2001, Katharina Swenson Brink. Welcome to Austria, Katharina. Katrina, take us back 14 years ago. How did you feel when your name was called as Miss Earth 2001? It was completely overwhelming. I had a dream of just being top 16 to just go on stage one more time than the opening show. And after that, I can hardly remember. <laughs> it was overwhelming. And what can you say that now Miss Earth is celebrating its 15th birthday? Yeah, it's amazing. It, it just keeps on growing and it's amazing to meet all the contestants to see how they really burn for the cause. I think that's a really, really good sign. And we hear that you're a successful lawyer. What keeps you busy these days? Yes, I became a lawyer and now I'm working at my husband's dressage tables as a lawyer as well. So I do all the contracts and a lot of marketing and it's just full speed ahead. And last but not least, what's your message to the future Miss Earth? Keep a focus on the cause because it's a really, really good cause, and uh, we can do, we can get really, really far with this pageant. Thank you, Katrina, and welcome to Austria. Thank you. We're now about to witness a special musical treat from one of Austria's star singers to sing the song "Here I Am." A round of applause for Eric Papelaya.
Some of the best air violin I've ever seen played on stage, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you've also just been the first people to hear his very own composition of Here I Am. Now, interesting thing is some of the proceeds from the sales of that song will be going to the Miss Earth Foundation, which will help to educate young children around the world into how to save the environment and the world. So way to go, Eric. Thank you very much. And for everyone here and at home, by the song, it helps the earth. I know you've got a phone in your hands. There's no excuses now. Go. So our thrilling competition continues with the evening gown coming right up on Miss Earth 2015. Es war wieder mal ein Erlebnis. Und ja, ich muss sagen, vor zwei Jahren bin ich selber auf so einer Bühne gestanden, damals noch auf den Philippinen. Und ich kann mich noch erinnern, wie nervös ich damals war. Also ich kann mir nur in etwa vorstellen, wie die Mädels da hinten sich gerade fühlen. Ja, ich muss sagen, mir ist damals schon das Herz in die Hose gerutscht. Ja, es folgt jetzt die Evening Gown Competition. Das ist so ziemlich der eleganteste Teil des ganzen Abends. Und wer könnte da ein besserer Interviewpartner sein als La Hong himself. La Hong, komm doch zu mir. Hallo. Also nur für die Kamera, diesen größten Unterschied muss ich jetzt ausnützen, sonst bin ich heute am Abend leider die Kleinste, aber das schaut ja gut aus. La Hong, wer beeindruckt dich denn am meisten? 
Wenn ich jetzt hier ganz offen sagen darf, ich war schon ein bisschen verliebt in dich. <lacht> Nein, in deine Schönheit und in deine Klugheit. Oh, ich habe nicht dafür bezahlt, ich schwör's. Aber jetzt mal Hand aufs Herz, wer ist deine Favoritin? Darf ich nicht sagen. Ich weiß nur, ich kann es mir ein bisschen verraten. Ich weiß, dass Katja eigentlich kein waschechten Österreicherin ist. Also, dann, weiß, dann wissen wir schon, wer mein Favoriten ist. Oho, oho, oho. Naja, schwer zu erraten, hat was von einem Quiz. La Hong, worauf schaust du bei der Evening Gown Competition? Ähm, für mich ist es eigentlich ähm, eine große Inspiration, weil äh, es gibt selten, dass alle Welt, alle Schönheit aus aller Welt her sich befinden und äh, natürlich kommen von Haarfarben, Au Augenfarben, Hautfarben, das ist sehr gespannt, was für ein Kleid sie trägt und äh, ob das ob zu ihr passt, von der Farben her, auch von dem Schnitt her und ich lasse mich total überraschen, aber ich bin sehr gespannt und darauf kann ich auch Ideen holen für meine Arbeit. Danke. Also es bleibt spannend. Wir sind gespannt, ob wir ein Kleid von La Hong sehen und viel Spaß mit der Evening Gown Competition. Earth candidates walk the streets of Vienna, not just to help reduce carbon footprint, but also to voice out a major environmental concern. The opulence of the Viennese Bowl has been known throughout the world as the real deal in partying for centuries. Now these lavish soirees have been the seat of glamour, elegance and romance. Now taking center stage now are this year's Belle of the Ball. We present to you our top 16 candidates in the evening gown competition and we begin with Hungary. Republic.
Venezuela. Ladies, now that concludes the evening gown competition and find out who will be a step closer when the crown when we announce the eight finalists here on Miss Earth 2015. Contestants and these ladies are spot on and working on their dreams. These two ladies besides me rocked the Miss Earth stage last year and took home one of the elemental titles. Here with me are Miss Earth Air 2014 Andrea Noy and Miss Earth Fire 2014 Anastasia Trusova from Russia. So ladies, tell me, how do you like Austria? I love Austria. Uh, Vienna is beautiful. The people of Vienna are beautiful. We've done some adventures, Anastasia, Jamie and I. We have, oh my gosh, we went to the zoo one day. We went ice skating in Salzburg. Nice. It was so much fun. I've had apple strudel, uh, goulash. Yummy. Let's see what else. Even um, the spelling is well. Yeah. and. Um, Kebab. Yes, that what was... What is that? A kebab? You know what that is. Kebab? Oh, kebab. kebab. Okay, kebab. okay. But so that's good. actually Turkish. Oh. <laughs> well. So, Miss Russia, how was your year as Miss Earth Fire 2014? Oh, it was very good. Uh, when I win in Miss Earth Fire, I have a lot of activities. In Russia, we have a very big organization. Uh, it's uh, Russian Geographical Society. And I currently work with them on environmental projects. Uh, 
We uh, protected uh, animals, uh, nature, and uh, we uh, tell with people and uh, show them that they must know geography. It's important for all people, I think, to know the geography of their country. Wow, this yes. is what Miss Earth is about. Miss Andrea, how was your year? What did you do? Did you have some activities? Did you support some projects in your country? Yes, absolutely. My year has just been a blur. It's crazy how fast it went by. We were just talking about that. Seems like a month ago we were on the beach of Boracay, Philippines. Woo! Uh, I have to admit that's the most beautiful beach in the world. It was very, very pretty. Um, but besides that, back in the USA, uh, my national director and organization has kept me pretty busy, keeping me involved. And I look forward to the upcoming years to continue working with them. It's a very worthy, obviously, environmental pageant and organization. Oh, wow. Sounds good. Miss Russia, is there any favorite you have for winning? the Miss Earth title. Mm, yes, I have my favorite girl, but I don't ask you who is she. <laughs> it's my Maybe little it's secret. Russia is, <laughs> is Russia still in this competition? I'm not sure. <laughs> yes, you are right. Okay, nice. So, Miss Andrea again, can you share some advice for our ladies how to impress the judges? Hmm, I think these ladies are already doing a very good job at doing that. I know I'm impressed. How's everyone else? Impressed? Are we loving them? I'm they look sure beautiful. They are. I would just tell the girls to continue to smile, to stay present, soak in this moment. Before you know it, you're going to be back home in your countries and you're just going to be missing this experience and all the friends that you've just made. So cherish it and have fun making these memories. And what's up next is the question and answer round after top eight. So, Miss Andrea, how did you survive this nerve-wracking round? I think very similar to what I just said. Just breathe. Actually take a moment. It's totally okay to... Take a moment, think about the question, and develop a thoughtful, genuine answer. That's really what the judges are looking for. And if you don't breathe and listen, um, you're just going to be more nervous. So you can do it, girls. I have faith in all of you. And who's the strongest contestant this year for you? Oh, well, I know you can't ask me this. Honestly, all the women... All the women are already so strong, so brave, so beautiful for putting themselves up on that stage. It takes courage, commitment, dedication. And again, I'm just going to have to say, Miss USA. <laughs> and Miss Russia, you're now about to pass your title to the next Miss Earth Fire. Is there any message you want to give to your Miss Earth Fire? Yes, it's a big job uh, to be a Miss uh, Fryer. She must be uh, concentrate on her advocacy and uh, she must protect our environment. Uh, she must be serious, I think. And I have to ask you, Miss USA, were there any projects you were involved this year? Any special project, any special activity you're remembering and you're ch you cherish remembering? Ah, that's so hard. Um, definitely, I've been involved and support very many worthwhile environmental causes and organizations. Um, one thing that I just enjoy doing is picking up trash. It's something so simple and seems something that we really don't even think about, but it can make such a big difference. So it doesn't take a beauty queen. It can just take anyone, really, to make a difference. So... That's something that I'll always work towards. Ladies and gentlemen, give me a shout for your favorite contestant. <laughs> so we got some very interesting answers here. I'm not sure if they match with those of the judges. 
So let's find it out in a second who will make it to the top eight. Just to show you how dedicated our candidates are in their mission to help save the planet, 21 days before the Climate Change Summit in Paris, all of our lovely ladies took part in the Big O2 Challenge, where thousands of trees were planted in all the countries covered by Miss Earth. Now, here in Vienna, they had a chance to have their version of a global summit during the environmental symposium hosted by the Vienna International Center Club Filipino. Now, during this symposium, the candidates were grouped together by continent, and each group presented a plan of action aimed at helping address various environmental issues. Here are the highlights of that productive meet. Let me introduce you to four environmental issues. So the first is pollution. Air pollution and water pollution. We have the inadequate waste management too. Then we have the water. We have floats and ports. And finally, we have deforestation, unfortunately. We from Asia are the front runners in the hotbed of climate change, and we are the ones who experience extreme negative impacts first before the rest of the world. In a world where we know so much, where information is shared of every second, of every minute, of every day, it seems surprising that not more people are jumping to take action. As Earth Warriors, we have worked on reforestation projects, cleaning up our beaches, and recycling the garbage to make beautiful jewelry. Conservation is our mission. Our awareness is my choice. project plan presentations, one group stood out with their concrete, relevant, and attainable goal. I don't know about you, Joey, I got 50 bucks on Antarctica, <laughs> but I'm not feeling too confident about that. The winning continent is Asia. Presenting the award are Parasol Productions President Ramon Monzon and Executive Vice President Lorraine Sh. Okay, so there we go. Well done, Asia. Joey and I feeling very good. That's our home continent as well. So we're speeding towards the final eight, but before we do, why don't we sort of think about what we've seen tonight. This, Joey, is pretty special for me. This is my double hat trick, the third time I've hosted Miss Earth in the third country, and I have to say, this is the most hotly contested I have ever seen in my life. Yes, I agree with you. And also the energy, the energy tonight's amazing. I love, I love our audience. I love you all. Oh, make some noise, Ooh. Austria, come on. <laughs> You've been screaming all night at us. Now, come on, the girls with the, uh, just the, when they were there and the bodies and yeah. it just. <laughs> Swimsuit competition, the girls are so hot. These girls are cut, I need to go to the gym. They're, they're making me feel a little nervous about myself <laughs> this close to Thanksgiving. Still carrying a little extra holiday weight myself, but they were absolutely, statuesque is the statuesque. word. Statuesque, goddesses and the evening gowns. Oh, these evening gowns are perfection. I actually have to ask some of them where their gowns are from. Hey, well, speaking of gowns, Joey, let's be <laughs> honest, ladies and gentlemen, this is the third gown we've seen Joey Me King in tonight. And look at you, looking beautiful as well. I'd like to thank you, my styling team of Paul and Linda Puddigrew, your <laughs> wife, for yes, helping me. <laughs> we've got all kinds of things going on backstage. Those are the secrets of Miss Earth. But before we get to the top eight as well, we have to just really think about the message that we've got here tonight. It's a unique opportunity that I feel that we have hundreds of girls from all over the world, thousands of people here from so many different countries, so many different backgrounds, religions, and tonight we have such a wonderful moment and opportunity to think about all the things that bring us together instead of focusing on all the differences that seem to wedge us apart, especially in today's climate. 
I like your speech. I like where you're going there. You're a global ambassador. If there was a Mr. Earth, you'd win. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, Joey. Keep going. But yes, truly, we love this pageant of Miss Earth. It's, it's different to, compared to other pageants. This one is an intimate. It's definitely, it really means more than just your typical beauty pageant. Miss Earth is unique in its own. Well, I actually have to be honest. I agree with you in this regard. I've got two kids, seven years old, eight years old. And now I'm really thinking about the world that I'm leaving behind after me. Once I leave, there are still so many. The next generation, the generation after that, that are going to be living here. And we really do need to think of, I started recycling more, I started Good driving Good for you, differently. Ollie. You have to do these things, you know? It's all about <laughs> thinking about the next step. Keeping it green, I'm proud of you. <laughs> well, we try to do our best here. And let's not forget as well, we're in, in Europe. In Europe for the first time in the history of Miss How Earth. How amazing is that? And here in Vienna of all places, the city is a beautiful, romantic place. We are very, very lucky, Ollie Pettigrew. I spent uh, the whole of yesterday actually bouncing around Vienna. I was trying to do as much as I could in one day. It's almost impossible, but it's such a wonderful place to get around. Can you share with us what you were able to see? I'll tell you what, the best thing I loved about Vienna is it's one of the only cities I've ever walked around where there was no music playing. There was no Euro pop, there no was no pop, pop music. No but every now and again, you'd come around a corner and there'd be a string quartet would be playing or a choir would be singing. Oh, we even heard a whole group singing some Mozart. It, my missus actually started crying at one point. Beautiful. That is beautiful. So I guess we've got to keep talking about Vienna because <laughs> the ladies backstage, you have to understand, it takes a lot of yes to get ready. Yes, they don't have your wife helping <laughs> them getting into their gowns like myself. <laughs> But as they're gathering, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we have got the top 16. We have been seeing them all night. Once we get down to the final eight, we also then have to get to the tricky part. Because anybody can be born beautiful, but it's all about what's up here as well. That's also one of the most weighted moments in all pageants. Well, the thing about it, you never know what's going to happen. You hand someone a microphone, you stick them on live television, and anything can happen. It's from your own experience. Are you, are you trying to well, say something? Well, the last time I Ollie? hosted this, I oh, almost said the wrong go. competition name. But it's all right. Got away with it. That Everybody was a long found time ago. That is not going to happen right tonight. It's OK. It? No. Miss no. Earth. Don't worry. I wrote it down. I've even got it tattooed on my back somewhere. <laughs> so we're good. We're all wonderfully good. <laughs> As ladies, the ladies take their spaces on the stage. They're just doing their blocking and, you know, getting, getting ready. You know, it's because they're probably backstage Instagramming all this. Millennials, <laughs> Joey, what can you do with this them? This new generation. They're all just on fleek. Yeah. Did I say that right? That's right. Apparently it's on fleek. But, okay. Is everybody, okay, is everybody feeling go. wonderfully on fleek? Okay, wonderful. Now, good. finally, we've come to the point where we'll have to say goodbye to eight candidates and reveal the other eight who will inch closer the opportunity of becoming Miss Earth. So, we have all of our top 16, and please, taking center stage. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause as well. Their combined scores from the swimsuit and evening gown rounds have been tabulated and verified by SGB Ernst & Young and Mr. Ramon Diesel will now be handing us the results. Thank you, sir. Still looking so handsome. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in no particular order, here are your final eight candidates. Starting with... The USA! Taking second position goes to... Australia! Ooh. That was close. Our third spot in the final eight goes to... Brazil!
now at the halfway mark. Who's it gonna be, ladies and gentlemen? Well, it's the Philippines! A huge reaction from the crowd there. Let's see if they can match it with our next finalist from... Austria! That sixth position goes to Chile! Just two spaces left. Ooh, it's so exciting, Joey. <laughs> Number seven goes to... Colombia! Who's gonna take that last spot? We know. Let's do it together. It goes to Venezuela! Ladies and gentlemen, please, a round of applause to the eight wonders of the earth. One of them will be your new Miss Earth 2015. Fast, safe, and efficient. These are the words that aptly describe Vienna's public transportation, and they are eco-friendly too. Woohoo! Was für eine Top 8! Oh mein Gott! Ich hoffe, Ihre Favoritin ist noch dabei. Meine nämlich schon. Was jetzt nämlich folgt, ist der kniffligste Teil dieser Competition. Und zwar die Question and Answer Runde. Dabei werden von den Juroren, den Mädels auf der Bühne, knifflige Fragen gestellt, die sie spontan, ohne Vorbereitung beantworten müssen. Das ist wirklich der harteste Teil dieser Competition. Und ja, auch ein bisschen nervenzerfleischend, muss ich sagen. Ein paar Mädels, die das Ganze schon durchgemacht haben, sind unsere Mädels, die hier neben mir sitzen. Miss Earth Northern Ireland 2014, Justine. Welcome to Austria, Justine. Thank you, Kjaret. We've had a wonderful time since we've been here. Is your favorite still in the competition? Well, all the UK girls are my favorite, but I'm really, really happy for Miss Scotland who plays top 16. Oh yes, Miss Scotland plays top 16, that's right. And if you could answer these ladies one question, what question would it be? That's pressure. <laughs> um, well, if I was to ask a winning question, it would be, what is your motivation for joining the Miss Earth pageant? And what would be your answer to this question? Well, I would answer that Miss Earth is truly a relevant pageant and what Miss Earth says it does, and that is to promote the cause of environmental protection and animal conservation. So definitely that's the main reason that they do what they say and they truly promote the cause. Thank you, Justine. Denn zur Erklärung, die Question und Answer Runde ist dazu da, um zu sehen, wie ernst es den Mädels mit ihrem Engagement zum Thema Umwelt und Soziales ist und was in ihren schönen Köpfchen überhaupt vorgeht. Jemand, der auch mitgemacht hat bei der Miss Earth Wahl, und zwar in meinem Jahr, 
ist Miss Earth China 2013. Miss Lisa Xiang, welcome to Austria, Lisa. And Ni Hao. So did you learn some German words here in Austria? Oh my gosh, Diana, Miss Katia can teach me something. So maybe we'll try Ni Hao in German. It's Guten Abend for the audience. For your audience. Good arms, right? Oh, very good, very nice. So now we will move on to the question and answer round. Have fun, guys. You're still with us here, Miss Earth 2015. It's all happening right here at the Marx Haller in Vienna. Now our competition would be nothing if we didn't hear from our beauties here tonight as well. Now, during the break, we asked each of the candidates to pick an envelope. Inside that envelope, there's the name of a judge. This judge will have a question for our competitors, and they'll have 30 seconds to answer that question. They will get a warning sound, which will sound like this. Wow, that was just so pretty. Now, that means time's going to be up, and they have to wrap it up. So let's get the ball rolling with the USA. Hello, my dear. We're starting with Richard Goma. Ah. <laughs> Brittany, if you would be elected Miss Earth 2015, and you were given the chance to speak to President Obama, what would you ask him regarding climate change? What a big question. So first off, I would definitely have to sit him down and tell him that it's not just about him, it's about our country. Because as Miss Earth, it's including, it's being the voice, it's influencing, and reaching out to every single person. So I'd sit him down and make sure that we would include every single person. Thank you very much, Miss USA. She'll give the president a talking to. Wow, ballsy. Next up, we move on to the lovely lady from Australia. Hello, my dear. Your question will come from Lorraine. How are you? Are you doing well? I'm feeling great, thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Okay. This is honestly a dream come true. Thank you so much. I, I, would, I would just like to know if you, if you happen to have an environmental hero. Hey, if not, sorry? it's okay. Sorry, Lorraine, could you speak up a little bit? Yeah. I'd like to know if you'd have an environmental hero. If yes, it's okay. If no, it's still okay. But why? Yes, absolutely. I'm from the land down under Australia. And Steve Irwin has been an incredible hero to me. I'm sure all of you know him. He's an incredible activist, conservationist and lover of animals, and I have aspired to be just like him. I believe that he was one person that inspired millions of people, children, adults, with his humor, with his informative documentaries, and that is what I want to strive to do as Miss Earth as well, because I believe that knowledge can create change, and when people are inspired with passion, they will act, and that is what I love about Steve Owen. Fantastic, great answer. Thank you, Miss Australia. I love Steve Irwin as well. I had the great opportunity to meet his daughter once as well. She's fantastic. Now, we move on to the lovely lady from Brazil. Oh, now I need a step. There we go.
Our question comes from Katarina. When you come home from this pageant, what will you do in your country for the environment? Hello, good night everyone. I'm happy to be here tonight. And yeah, first thing I'll do, I'll thank God for being here today. And I would like to talk to my people because they don't know how serious the situation is. In my country, the problem is education. Our children don't have education. We are going through a hard time right now. And my, uh, my, my uh, what I will do, I'm sorry, what I will do is tell the children that the climate change is very dangerous. And the, uh, what's going on right now is because of it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brazil. Absolutely, the children are our future, as they always say. Next up, Philippines, come. It's more fun in the Philippines, that's what they say. Ava. Dear Miss Philippine, the slogan of Miss Earth for the last 15 years is beauty for a cause. If you were asked to propose a new slogan for the next 15 years, what would it be? If I were to make a slogan for the next 15 years for Miss Earth, that would be we will because we can. I want to let everybody know that all things are possible and all things are feasible if we work together. We will because we can. Good answer, Philippines. Congratulations. Four down. We have four more to go. The journey to Miss Earth's crown continues with the next batch of finalists. The excitement is in the air tonight. We are almost there. Katya, how excited are you? Oh my God, that's right, Joey. Some of the people here in the gallery are literally at the edge of their seats during the question and answer portion. And so far, all of those answers are very good. They're, all these girls are very, very confident. So I'm looking forward to listening to our second batch. But meantime, I want to ask you, you have been there. You've been in that position. How did you handle that? Oh, well, Joey, the main part to handle stress on the stage is first to breathe in, then breathe out, and then answer the question. <laughs> and that's it? That's your trick? Yeah, that's it, basically. <laughs> I'm sorry, there is no special trick, actually. It's, you know, it's, it's press, pressure on stage, especially if you don't know the question. So they, those ladies on stage are very brave and they did a very, very good job. This is a lot of hard work. You imagine, ladies and gentlemen, these women have been working hard. Can you imagine all of the costume changes they've had to, wearing six-inch heels? Rehearsing in six inch heels, that is not an easy feat, okay? Even for me, it's hurting, so. <laughs> they are goddesses up on stage, but you know what? I'd love to ask our audience what they would do if they had the opportunity to be Miss Earth. You wanna go? Let's, Let's ask. go. Let's ask one of our ladies here. Maybe a guy, you know? A guy you wanna try? <laughs> hey, we're Miss Earth. We're open here. Let's go for it. Let's Miss ask this over here. <laughs> Which one? Um, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Um, if you were to join Miss Earth, what would you do if you won Miss Earth? If I, if I. If you did, just why not? We're just playing around here. I would change the world. And how would you change the world, sir? I would, uh, I would uh, lead her way, follow her lead. That's what I want to say. Into this bright future we can have if we if we engage and if we act and if we come together. Well, that's it. I think, Miss Earth, we need to do a male Mr. Earth then. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not sure, though. We'll Maybe. Talk to Parasol Production and see how they feel about that. Thank you, sir. Maybe it would be for Miss Earth Air 2015. I'm not sure. <laughs> Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with it. Let's hear more of the answers from our wonderful ghost. Ollie, it is back to you with the second round of question and answer. Yep, we are moments away from crowning the next Miss Earth. Will, along with her elemental court, enjoy a three night stay in the Hilton Vienna Danube waterfront, which is lovely because I'm staying there too. They'll also receive elegant pendants crafted by Ramona Ha, while Miss Earth 2015 will receive a management contract from Carousel Productions, plus the privilege of wearing the Miss Earth crown. Now, on to our competition. We'll get to know the second group of our eight finalists a little bit better. Are we ready, ladies? We will start with... Austria! Hello, my dear. Our judge is Yasmin. Hello, Sophie. Look beautiful tonight. Thank you. My question for you is, compared to our parents' generation, do you think that this generation is more friendly or less friendly to the environment? I think this generation is more friendly to our environment and I think we have to teach our kids how they can live a healthy life and to save our Mother Earth. Let's hear from Miss Austria, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, the lovely lady from Chile. Nice earrings, by the way. Very beautiful. For this, we will go to Nadia. Wow. I'm so happy. Um, that TV did that. You look so vogue tonight. So beautiful. So my question will be, if you would become the next Miss Earth 2015, what will be your first project in your country? Once again, <laughs> okay, so once again, Natividad, you look so vogue tonight, you're so beautiful. So, if you would become the next Miss Earth 2015, what will be your project in your country? Buenas noches, Viena. El proyecto social que yo realizaría, bueno, yes. está vigente en Chile. The social project that is already running in Chile is es el reciclaje. Is recycling. Con ello ayudamos a los niños con bajos recursos y a familias vulnerables. With that we help uh, people with uh, with less money on vulnerable vulnerable people. Y al Ministerio de Flora y Fauna. Ministerio de Flora y Fauna. And the Flora and Fauna Ministry. Y hoy en día con el Ministerio de Chile estamos creando un proyecto a nivel país. And right now we are creating a project in whole Chile um, with this ministry. Thank you very much, Ms. Chile. And to our handsome translator as well, looking very sharp, my friend. Two more to go. Next up, Colombia. Okay. 
Norbert. Um, hello, Miss Colum Columbia. Hello. Uh, if you would uh, become the next female president of your country, what would you change? Si fueras elegida la presidenta de tu país, ¿qué cambiarías? Eh, ok. Creo que eh, el presidente actual está haciendo una gran labor. I think that the actual president is making a great labor. Y yo como presidente eh, impulsaría eh, el cuidado del medio ambiente para obtener un planeta verde. And as a president, I will impose the uh, taking care of the environment to get a green earth. Me basaría en la educación y cultura a los más jóvenes. I will take care of the education and culture of the youngest people. Para que entiendan que si la tierra nos da día a día. To understand that if the, day, if the earth give us day after day. Nosotros también podemos devolverle algo. We have to give them back something. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you very much. Colombia. And now for the final of our top eight, ladies and gentlemen, Venezuela. Uh, we go again. To Richard Goma. Good evening, Miss Venezuela. You're looking beautiful. Uh, you seem to have in your country a lot of problems at the moment. But if you are in charge, what would be the first thing you would like to change? En tu país en este momento hay muchos problemas, pero si estuvieras a cargo, ¿qué, fue, qué sería lo primero que cambiarías? Buenas noches. Lo primero que cambiaría, sin duda alguna, sería la educación. Implementaría. The first thing that I will change uh, will be education. I will implement. E implementaría el amor hacia el medio ambiente y la conservación del mismo. I will implement the love to environment and the conservation of the same of the environment. Ya que eso en mi país es está un poco se podría decir no abandonado, pero sí le hace falta más cuidado al planeta y sin duda alguna sin el planeta no podríamos vivir, tenemos uno y es el momento de salvarlo. And right now the in my country I was I won't say that this is a problem that is a problem that is not taking care right now. But uh, we have to make the change to help this, uh, the environment and save our planet. ¿Y qué mejor manera que darle amor a los niños? And which better way than give love to the children? Well done. Thank you very much, Venezuela. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for all of our top eight. That is not an easy thing to do, but they did a wonderful job. I must say so myself. Now. That officially concludes our competition. Our judges are now going to have to put their heads together, do the math, rather them than me. And in just a few minutes, a new environmental queen will be proclaimed. Stay with us right here at Miss Earth 2015. wenn wir wissen, wer Miss Earth 2015 wird. Und jetzt habe ich hier bei mir Miss Earth 2012, Theresa Feixova from Czech Republic. Hello, Theresa, and good Abend. I remember that last time we met, you told me that you speak German, actually. Yes, of course. Ja, natürlich. Ich spreche Deutsch sehr gut. Guten Abend. 
You know, last time we met, she actually told me some very bad words in German. Maybe you want to repeat them here? Uh, no, I don't want. Thank you. Anyway, I, what I remember is uh, from Deutsch. It's like, Frau Lelenin, entschuldigen Sie mich bitte, ich habe nicht mein Buch. Warum? Ich weiß nicht. Okay, set dich. Is it good? Please. But who, who's Miss Melanie? <laughs> who is this lady? Okay, well, so how was your feeling when you were crowned Miss Earth 2012? Oh my God, it was the most beautiful day in my life, what I have to say. And of course, I have to say thank you, my Filipino friends, that they gave me such an amazing thing. So thank you. It was such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa, and welcome to Austria. So, what's up next? We have the singer Misha here. Have fun. Oh, I'm so tired of people like you who are trying to put others down. You know, well, here's what I have to say to you. You can bring me down.
Club Filipino hosted an environmental symposium with esteemed speakers including Deputy Chief of Mission and Council General of the Philippine Embassy in Austria, Mr. Salpicio Confiado, United Nations Women's Guild President, Ms. Diane Orlando Oyugi, Director of the Energy Branch of United Nations Industrial Development Organization, Mr. Pradeep Monka, International Atomic Energy Agency's Ms. Loretta Stuckin Dequiti, UNIDO Unit Chief, Montreal Protocol Unit, Mr. Ole Nielsen, Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization's Ms. Natalie Brealy, Joint Expert at the United Nations Environment Program, Mr. Mateus Jurek, Internal Vice President of VIC Club Filipino, Ms. Melinda Fonda, and VIC Club Filipino President, Ms. Miriam De La Cruz. Now, before we get to that moment we've all been waiting for, I think we should just take a moment and, you know, think about the responsibilities that the winner is going to have. Miss Earth is more than just waving. She's not about waving, saying, woo, world peace. Miss Earth, she gets in, she gets dirty, she's out there. She's doing all of her charitable responsibilities and also doing her responsibilities environmentally. She's out there, she's planning, she's getting to know all of the organizations. This role of Miss Earth is not your typical beauty pageant role. Well, that's the thing. That's what sets it apart from everything exactly. else out there in the world. I mean, Miss Earth quite literally will get her hands dirty. She'll be planting trees. The thing as well that I think is so important, we've been talking about it all night, is the next generation. What Miss Earth is, is, is somebody for the younger generation to aspire towards. Yes, exactly. That's why it's so important. Like what she says and what she does is so inspirational. This woman, you know, if there was Miss Earth during my heyday, I'd totally join. Well, <laughs> and if there was a Miss Earth, you know I would have jumped all over that as well. Now, the that's ladies a, are looking very shot. excited here tonight. <laughs> We're all feeling the pressure right now. But before we get there, last year, a young lady from the Philippines claimed the Miss Earth title. And since then, she's been, as we described, traveling the world, spreading awareness on various environmental issues. Now, for the last time, as Miss Earth 2014, we welcome back one true beauty for a cause, Jamie Harrell. My journey as Miss Earth has been unforgettable. I met people from all walks of life, from school children to prominent figures of society, and they all taught me that the call to act on environmental issues knows no barriers. Regardless of age, gender, and race, we need to put a united front to further our cause. Different countries face different problems. And one way to address this is for people to have the conviction to act and not just to write down resolutions on a piece of paper. As Miss Earth, I am fortunate enough to lead the way as a steward of the environment and to show that caring for the environment doesn't need intricate grand plans. As I bid farewell to the pageant that has taught me a lot of things, I wish for my successor to continue the legacy of Miss Earth I hope she will have memorable experiences and most especially inspire people by her example. Congratulations, Jamie, for a successful reign. We wish you the very best. Come on, round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Woo. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. We now have results from Mr. Ramon Dizon right here, partner of STV Ernst & Young. We will begin with Miss Earth Fire, who will promote the protection and sustenance of our forests, wildlife, and other natural resources. Joey, if you could open it for me. Ooh. This year's Miss Earth Fire is... Brazil! And crowning Miss Earth Fire are on 
Anastasia Trusova and Karina Swenson Brink. Miss Earth Water. It is her responsibility to push for the preservation of our marine ecosystems and the conservation of our water supplies. And Miss Earth Water is. Woohoo! Miss Earth Water is Miss USA! Crowning Miss Earth Water are Katarina Svensson Brink and Carousel Productions Vice President and Project Director Pichi Venerasion. Keeping the air clean for the current and future generations, and Miss Earth Air is. Miss Earth Air is. Australia! Crowning Miss Earth Air are Amanda New. And Carousel Productions Executive Vice President Lorraine Shook. And now, the fairest of them all, our new Miss Earth is. I think we should say it together, ladies. Are we ready? Our new Miss ready. Earth 2015 is...
questions. A big thanks to everyone who extended their support, especially to the Filipino community right here in Vienna. Maraming maraming salamat po. And of course, thank you all for visiting my city, Vienna, and I hope you enjoyed your stay. This has been Katya Wagner. I'm Joey Meeking, sending a big shout out to everyone here tonight. All of you guys are amazing, and so are my co hosts, Katya and Woo! Oli Pettigrew. Woo! And I am Oli Pettigrew, saying goodbye from the magnificent city of Vienna. We hope to see you all again next year for Miss Earth 2016 of the oh, Let's have a 